There are seas, mountains, dunes, although not from sand, but from heat-resistant organic matter. And when summer comes to the North Pole, it even rains methane. It's an amazing world. Indeed, we are talking about Titan, Saturn's biggest moon, the second largest moon in the solar system, after Jupiter's satellite Ganymede. It is the only celestial body in the solar system, with the exception of Earth and Mars, for which the existence of liquid on the surface has been proven, and it's the only moon on the planet with a dense atmosphere. The diameter of Titan is 5,152 kilometers, which is 50% larger than that of the Moon, while Titan is 80% larger in mass than Earth's satellite. Titan also surpasses the planet Mercury in size, although it is smaller than it in mass. The force of gravity on it is approximately one-seventh that of the Earth's. Titan's mass makes up 95% of the mass of all of Saturn's moons. Titan conceals many of its secrets, but today we will turn our attention to its amazing landscape. Now the surface of Titan is composed mainly of water ice and sedimentary organic matter. It is geologically young and mostly flat, with the exception of a small number of mountainous formations and craters, as well as a few cryovolcanoes. For a long time, the dense atmosphere surrounding Titan made it impossible for the surface of the Moon to be seen until the arrival of the Cassini-Huygens space research mission. Scientists suspect that under the ice shell of Titan, at a depth of about a hundred kilometers, there is an ocean of liquid water. This is indicated by some irregularities in the oscillations of the Moon in its orbital motion. Photographed by the Cassini in various spectral ranges, the surface of Titan in the tropical latitudes is divided into several bright and dark regions with clear boundaries. Near the equator, on the leading hemisphere, there is a bright region the size of Australia, which is high ground, probably a mountainous area. It was named Xenadu. In general, the surface topography of Titan is relatively level. The variation in height is no more than two kilometers. However, local changes of elevation, as shown by radar data and stereoscopic images obtained by the Huygens, can be quite significant. Steep slopes on Titan are not uncommon. This is the result of intense erosion in conjunction with wind and liquid. There are several objects that look like impact craters, presumably filled with hydrocarbons. Many craters may have been buried under a layer of sediment or were quickly smoothed over by intense wind erosion. The surface of Titan in the temperature latitudes is less contrasting. Titan has distinct indications of volcanic activity. However, despite the similarity in the form and characteristics of the volcanoes, it is not silicate-based volcanoes that are at play on the satellite, as on the Earth or Mars and Venus but what are known as cryovolcanoes, which most likely erupt with a water-ammonia mixture with a touch of hydrocarbons. Unlike the Earth, in the course of the change of seasons, powerful clouds of Titan move a great deal more along the latitudes, while on Earth they move north or south only slightly. Disappearing islands on Titan have also been a huge mystery for years. The largest of them is in the mysterious seas of Kraken Mare. The depth of the seas ranges to several hundred meters. Studies of the sea, Ligia Mare, have discovered an unusual feature, bright island-like objects that appear and disappear in some radar images. Moreover, there aren't any significant waves on these bodies of water. There are two explanations of what they can be gas bubbles or solid floating formations. It turned out that at the surface the mixture exists in the form of one phase, but at a depth of 130 to 170 meters, the ternary mixture's state changes into a combination of two liquid phases and one gaseous. The solubility of nitrogen in ethene is much lower than in methane. It is emitted as a gas. Chemists estimate the diameter of the average bubble at 4.6 centimeters. 
This size is apparently enough for them to be visible to the radar. Nevertheless, researchers would like to note that there is not enough data to give an accurate description of the processes occurring in the seas of Titan. For example, the temperature and exact composition of the seas are unknown. More accurate data may be provided by future missions to the Moon. A new target of research is Saturn's moon Titan, to which the Dragonfly mission will be launched in 2026. It's expected that in 2034 the eight-rotor drone will land on Titan, which will receive electrical power by means of a thermoelectric generator. Becoming an eyewitness to these new discoveries will truly be an exciting and amazing time.